I'm here once again on the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University in Florham Park, New Jersey. As today, you guys will get a chance to check out the 2018-2019 FDU Devils women's basketball team. I'm here with Melissa Brooks, the new women's basketball coach here at FDU. Coach, thank you so much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, happy to be here and uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So my first question, Coach, is, you know, obviously you were hired just a few months ago. Just talk, tell the folks about, you know, how everything's been so far as the new head coach here. Um, it's, it's, it's been great. Uh, the department is phenomenal. I have so much success. There's a lot of coaches here that have been here for 15 years, 17 years, 30 years, and to know that I have people that are experienced with so much knowledge mm -hmm. and we all want the same goal is to have successful kids here that graduate and also winning, um, that I feel as though anything that I've come across that I have never experienced before, I have them to sit in their office and you know ask them as many questions as I want. And um, as far as the actual program and the team, the girls are incredible. They are young ladies that are looking for that role model, that are looking for that starting position, and they're looking to carry the load of the leading scorer on the team, the leading rebounder on the team, the captain on the team, and all those positions are available right now. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a brand new year, it's a brand new team, and to see their drive for it is incredible. They, it's making them work harder, it's making them come together more, and um, I just I see I, I see so much growth in what the 15 practices that we've had so far. So um, it's it's a not a lot of time, but uh, a lot that has happened in a little bit of time. Certainly has. And speaking of knowledge, that you mentioned before, before you came here, you were an assistant at the United States Military Academy. Talk talk to folks a little bit about what you could take from there to coming here to FDU. Uh, the number one thing, and I, I think a lot of people assume this, is the structure aspect. Right. Um, they are very driven, very driven people, and I would say that I've learned more from the cadet athletes there mm -hmm. than any other athlete I've ever coached. Not saying that the ones that I have coached in the past are insignificant, but they are held to such a different standard, it's incredible. Right. Um, it kind of really closed that gap of a debate for me of mm -hmm. are people just born a natural leader or can you become one? After I left there, you can absolutely become a leader. I feel as though my leadership skills have changed since I went there, and I feel that the way that I approach young women now are in a totally different leadership aspect. That's what I want from them. Right. I want them to be leaders moving forward when they leave this campus. And when you now look at it from that aspect, mm -hmm. it's totally different. When right. I see them coaching each other, when I see them have their shoulders back and make eye contact it's just like wow like I didn't see this on my interview or I didn't see this before we started practice right. and they know that it's very important to me and I think that they are starting to see how it is very important to them now as well. Leadership is certainly an important thing and those were all very good points that kind of leads me to my next question coach going into your first season here what are some of the goals expectations you have for the coaching staff yourself and the team as a whole? Um, I will start with the coaching staff. So I have um, two really young coaches. I have coach Nola Henry, who I've known for about six years now. Mm -hmm. uh, she played at the Division One level at, UMA at UMass and then transferred to College of Charleston. Okay. Um, she comes with a wealth of knowledge. Mm. She just is a gym rat. She knows the game and she just can see herself, like the kids can look at her as an equal to them. Mm -hmm. You know, she's still... Um, fairly new out of college. She graduated right. 2017. I also have coach Vicki Beneventine. Mm -hmm. She graduated from Montclair, a very, very successful D3 program um, under Karen Harvey, who's a phenomenal coach, constant all-met head coach winner of the year, uh, year after year after year. Um, unfortunately for her, but great for Alex Lang. Uh, <laughs> Alex Lang, he, he beat her out this past, this past year. So. Um, so she played her freshman year at Montclair, and then after that, she became a student coach. Yeah. So she has not only the playing experience at a successful D3 program, but she has a little bit of coaching experience with that. Okay. She also coaches for a really um, prestigious AAU team in the New Jersey area, mm -hmm. United New Jersey AAU. Mm -hmm. So she does that in the summer and in the and in the fall. So she's able to coach high school level girls and able to get that head coaching aspect that way. As far as myself, it's patience. It's one day at a time. Um, it's knowing that people are going to look at me and expect to fill the big shoes. And at the end of the day, it's at my, my thing is that these girls can tell that I'm invested in them. 
and I said this from day one, that I inherited you and you inherited me. I am here to build you as a person and as a player. You are going to learn more than you've ever learned before. And I said winning may not show that, and this might not be the year for that, but it's going to put us in a better position next year for success. So the number one thing this year is culture. And culture goes with how you stand on the sidelines, how you are at halftime, how you are on the bench, how you run from drill to drill, how you run off the court when you're done, how you run on the court when you're on. Mm -hmm. And it starts with that. And then as far as the players, I think that they, their heads are pretty big right now and they, because they want, that, they want all that you know, spotlight, right. as anybody would say. Right, of um, and I told them that, in all honesty, this whole year is going to be a roller coaster ride. And if you don't want to go on the ups and downs, then don't get on the ride. Because I don't think that they're going to understand that we're going to hit rock bottom at some point. But at the same time, we're going to peak and we're going to hit high points that they've never hit before either. So. Well, I can certainly say that I'm pretty fired up and motivated after hearing that. Those, those were all tremendous points. Well, Coach, I really just want to say thank you so much for coming out today. I know today's been kind of hectic and very busy, but I really appreciate you coming out today. I wish you guys nothing but the best this upcoming season. All right, thank you. I really appreciate it. It was nice to meet you, Neil. I'm here with point guard Raven Dowling. Raven, thank you so much for coming out today. I appreciate no problem. it. Thank you. So my first question to you, Raven, is this. Just so far as you're getting close, you're just a few days away from your first you know, regular season game. Talk to folks a little bit about you know, how the preseason's gone and how training camp is, and practice has gone this year so far. Um, I think practice is going very well this year. Um, we started off with a little slow start, but we got it together. We have a very new team, a uh, bunch of new players. Uh, obviously, we have a new coach, so we're working together well, trying to get it together as a program, so we'll get there. You certainly will, and that kind of kind of led me to my next question. Obviously, you have a new head coach, yes. Coach Brooks. Talk to the folks at home a little bit about just what it's been like to, to play under her so far. Um, so far, she's done amazing at what she's doing, coaching us, uh, getting us prepared for games. Being a new head coach uh, with a new team is very right. hard, especially for us and for her, I know, as well. So I think she's doing a very great job getting together, um, being a family as well, because we are mm -hmm. very family-oriented. So I think she's doing a very good job. Certainly has, and I, and I like to use that, that word family because I feel like it's such an important thing that people yes, tend to forget. And so my next question to you is this. Obviously in the past, the FD women's basketball has had a deep tradition of success. They won a national championship a few years ago, six consecutive conference championships. What are going to be some of the goals and what are going to be some of the things to do in order to continue that success? I think it's scoring for us and hustling and being together as a team. We have to focus being together as a whole unit and on the court. Um, we have to work well with each other passes, scoring, because last year we had a lot of scoring players. This year we do not, mm -hmm. but we will work on that a lot. Um, this year is going to be a very a big challenge for us, being that we are fifth in uh, the postseason, but we have a chip on our shoulders this year. We are coming back this year like we came every other year. We're still coming for that championship, and we're going to come get it. <laughs> you heard it here first. So my last question to you is this, just being one of the leaders of the team, just if you have one message you want to send to everybody out there about FDU basketball team, what would that message be? Um, I think we're still here. We never left. Even though we have new players, new coaches, we're still coming back. We're still coming back better and stronger. We're here. They're not going anywhere. Raven, thank you so much for coming out today. I really thank appreciate it. Good so luck much. this season. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. I'm here with guard Kayla Crosswell. Kayla, thank you so much for coming out today. I appreciate it. Thank you. So my first question to you, Kayla, is this just... Just talk to everyone here a little bit about how you know training camp and everything has gone so far as you get closer and closer to the beginning of the 2018-19 season. I think it's going pretty well. We had a few speed bumps in the beginning of practice due to a new coach, new team. Right. We lost a couple of players. But I think so far it's going good. Very good point there. And so that leads to my next question. We talked before about just you have a new coach, Coach Brooks. She, she has a long history of a lot of success. What? What has been the, the biggest challenge, you know, learning from a new coach? You're obviously in your senior year, you're kind of starting, you know, almost like you're starting over again. But what has been the biggest challenge, but also what has been the most rewarding things playing under Coach Brooks? I think so far it's focusing on technique. She's very big on technique and making sure everything is clean and communication. I think that's one of the many things that she brings to this team that we really need. Well, that's great. And my next question to you is this, just... Just talk, talk a little bit about what are your personal goals and then what are some of the team goals that you guys have for this year? I think going into this year, we've won six MAC championships, hoping for a seventh mm -hmm. to continue that streak and keep our hearts in it like we always have. Keep that tradition is certainly an important thing. And the last question to you is this. If you have one message 
you want to send everybody out there for the FDU women's basketball team, what would it be for 2018, 2019? <laughs> I would say we're still here. We still have the heart and we're coming for this seventh win. Watch out, everybody. They're coming. Well, Kayla, thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. Good luck this season. Thank you. <laughs> From the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University in Florham Park, New Jersey, I'm Neil Villapiano.